Hello and uh, welcome back. In this uh, section of the tutorial, we are going to uh, start working on the enemy and uh, their behavior. So, uh, first of all, we are going to uh, make sure that uh, our map is actually navigable by the enemies. So, we are going to click on map here. We are going to add a child node of navigation region, navigation region 3D. We are going to give it a new navigation mesh and we are going to grab the floor and the ramp and put them as children of the navigation region. <coughs> Let's click on bake navigation mesh and Godot here will bake for us a nice uh, blue uh, navigation mesh that, sh that, sh that shows us uh, the uh, parts where the enemies can go. So let's actually create our uh, enemies. So we're going to click on the root node of the scene and we're going to give it a character body 3D. Uh, let's rename this to enemy. Give it a collision shape, collision shape 3D. Uh, it's going to be a sphere. Keep it at the same scale. And let's give it a child node of inst mesh instance. And it's also going to be a sphere. Let's give it a reddish color to distinguish it from the other uh, things in the, in the scene. So uh, we're going to click on material, new standard material. Click on that material. Uh, search for albedo and give it a nice reddish color like this make sure it is just hovering above the map not intersecting with it so uh, our enemy needs to navigate around the map and uh, locate the player so we are going to give it a navigation I agent 3D as a child and let's put these values at 0.5 for now and that's about it for now so uh, let's uh, click on our enemy attach a script to it script and create of course uh, make sure that it is not uh, so let's do that again. Uh, make sure that the, 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 the template is not set on basic movement, but rather set on uh, the node uh, default. So like that. Scripts. And that's about it. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, export the movement speed of the uh, of the enemy. So we're going to say move speed of type float. We are going to get our uh, navigation agent 3D, but only uh, after it is initialized. So uh, we're going to say on ready var uh, navigation agent of navigation agent like this. And let's set it as navigation agent just in case uh, the inference of uh, Godot doesn't work properly. So we're going to say navigation. Uh, first of all, uh, actually, we need to locate our player. Uh, so we're going to add the player uh, to a gr node group. So we're going to click on our player. Go to node groups, type in player and add. So here we added our player uh, to the uh, player group. 
and now we're going go, we're going back to the enemy script and we're, and we're going to create a new variable called layer of type node 3d we're going to say if player is equal to null so we're going to look for it in the scene uh, so we're going to say player equals uh, get three is it yep get three dot uh, find yep get first get first node in group and it's going to be of the player group so here if player is not equal to none we're going to say mm, navigation agent dot set target position sometimes uh, autocomplete doesn't work I don't know why uh, so uh, we're going to set the target position to um, say player dot global position okay, remember we always want to get the global position for this one so we're going to say uh, velocity equals to um, our own global position as the enemy. So we're going to say global position dot set uh, or direction to. So we're going to set the direction to the navigation agent dot get next path position. And we're going to multiply that by move <coughs> speed. So actually when we uh, when we set our target position here, what Godot does under the hood is that it creates a, uh, a path or a, an array of points that follow along that path. So uh, here we are going to uh, get the next closest uh, point to that path and uh, we are going to uh, move towards it and uh, when our agent reaches that point uh, the next uh, path is going to change to the closest one after that. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, here we are going to say move and slide. Mm, so uh, let's try that yep uh, we forgot to set the speed of the enemy and the, and the inspector so let's give it a speed of five and let's play again yep there it is now it is following us wherever we go okay enough playing around so uh, the next thing is that we are going to make sure that our player dies in some uh, in some form so uh, when it gets touched by the enemy so uh, here let's create a new variable called uh, is alive that is of type boom and it's going to say, it's going to equal to true uh, at first uh, now mm, let's give our player uh, an area 3d uh, child so uh, we want to detect uh, collisions uh, of the player with uh, with other uh, with other objects or, or other bodies so we are going to give it a an area as a child uh, that area requires a collision shape as a ch as a child so let's give it a collision shape let's make it um a capsule so so just like uh, uh the first one 
and uh, just like the first one we are going to move it one unit forward uh, one unit one unit upward like this so by one and we want it to be just a little bit larger so 1.1 1 .1, say in all directions this uh, ju uh, just so so we can uh, uh, actually detect the collision with the player before we uh, actually collide with it in the with the inner uh, with the inner collision or the, with the inner collider okay so let's click on our area 3d here and we are going to click on node signals we're going to get the uh is it body entered yes so we want the body entered uh signal here and uh, in the prompt that shows up here we want to locate our player and we are going to say on area 3d body entered so we're going to leave it just like that click connect it is going to create a function for us uh, that is hooked up to the uh, on area uh, collision uh, signal so here we are going to check or before we check actually we need to add our our enemy to the to the enemy group just like we did with the player uh, and the uh, player group so we're going to say groups of course click on the enemy click on node groups and enemy and add and we're going to say uh, if body so if the body that we just collided with is in group and we are going to say uh, enemy so what we're saying is if we just collided with the enemy do the following so uh, in this case I'm going to say is is alive it's going to be equal to false and uh, we are going to say uh, weapon dot q3 and mesh mesh instance 3d dot q3 so uh, we're using the, uh, the the dollar sign to get the child node of uh, of the uh, of the player so we're going to get the child node that is weapon and we're going to destroy it and we're going to say get the mesh instance 3d child that is the mesh of the player itself and we're going to destroy it too so uh, one last thing here in uh, physics process say uh, we want to disable all kinds of input uh, upon death so we're going to say if is not alive return so if we are not alive just ignore everything that this function does basically so let's try this and it works let's try it again and it works so uh, this video is already long enough so I'm going to leave it at this and in the next uh, video we are going to work on uh, the enemy health uh, and uh, taking damage when it receives uh, collision from a bullet and uh, on the next one we are going to work on uh, player hordes uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one